So Kevin, let's go right in and talk about injuries. How's Shane doing, firstly? Yeah, well obviously he broke his uh, arm in the game, which was really disappointing for him, because um, he was playing very well. Arguably one of our best players when, at that stage of the game. Um, but he's, he's had surgery on it, and he'll be out for the rest of the season. And Jamie was back in the sticks, so it must be good to see him back, and then do you hope to include him now for the next Yeah, it was, it was great to see him back. And like I said, that, that was actually my fourth keeper in eight games, which is un unusual, really. But it's good to have him back in. He's a voice around the place, um, in the dressing room, and certainly on the pitch. And he just stabilises people, and you need that, that vocalness from your goalkeeper. And it was, I was really pleased to have him back. Curtis was also involved on Saturday. He did a job for the team, came on, scored his goal. So do you hope now to have him back in the front? Well, he's the sort of player you need around as well, you know. Um, he's a major, major part of what I'd be trying to do here. Um, the medical team have worked really well for him. He's back slightly earlier than what we expected, and that's through himself putting in that effort and extra work all the time and having, having a desire to, to, yeah, come on, I'll do that for you. Um, and, and managers, all managers and coaches, they want that type of player. And Curtis, obviously, fortunately, we got him on the bench on Saturday. Um, and he made a real difference when he came on. Off the back of that win against Cheltenham, you know, we all know it's your first since you've taken over, that's been well publicised. How's training been this week you know, with that new positivity? Yeah, you can tell there's a spring in the players' steps now. You can, maybe, maybe we didn't have in the last couple of weeks. Um, so you can, it's noticeable. You know, and now it's you know, seven games left. Let's, let's see what happens in them seven games. Let's give it a real go. Um, but there's a real, there's a real spring in their step. The first of those seven games is Stevenage this weekend, local derby, how are you and how are the team feeling for that? Yeah, we're looking forward to it. They're a very good side, there's no doubt about that. I don't think they've lost at home um, this year. Um, they've got a good goal scoring record. Um, but you know, we'll be, we'll be studying them and having a look at it. Um, but we're certainly the underdogs in that game, there's no doubt about that. As you mentioned, they're, they're going for promotion. You know, we're maybe not in that position just yet. So how do you set your team up to go against a team like that? Well, we're definitely going to give it a go. There's no doubt about that. We've got to think what our strengths are um, and, and what their strengths are going to be as well. So we'll go there with a game plan um, and hopefully we can execute that and come away with something. And it's a game that's massively important to the, to the Bees faithful. Like It's a local derby. So am I right in saying that we'll be going there Saturday, ready to go to war, looking to steal those three points? Yeah, we've been working on, the t on, on their team this week. Um, Daryl Sarr's done a fantastic job alongside Glenn, Glenn Roder as well. They've done really well, um, but let's hopefully we can go there and give our supporters something to shout about. Talking about the supporters, after the last game, maybe they were a bit vocal about the way that we were playing at home. Got that win. What would your message be to the to the fans now? Yeah, we've got that win now, and like I say, I think most games, you know, we've been in all the games. There's no doubt. I think everyone would have said we should have picked up this win beforehand. And a couple of performances, maybe Notts County away and Accrington, weren't as, as good as I would have liked. Saturday, parts of it, wasn't as good. But you know what, we won the game. So stay with the players, stay with all of us, uh, and keep supporting the team like you have been. As we saw on Saturday, the margins for error in this league are so small. You know, one mistake and you've lost control of it. Just like Cheltenham did. They were 1-0 up and then all of a sudden we bang in three goals. So it must be, as a coach, you must know that at any moment the game can hinge on, on a, a moment like, like that. Yeah, and always, always, you have to stay in the game all the time. You can't be, you know, in the games that we've been defeated, it's been 1 0. So we're always in it to the last minute. When it's like threes and fours, then it becomes different. So you need to be defensively solid, defensively sound, and, and everybody working together as well. The whole team working together, the whole team attacking together, and the whole team defending together. So the final question, Kev, looking ahead to Stephen, it's local derby. There's no doubt that we're going there for the win. Absolutely, it will certainly be giving it every single thing we've got.